I'll give you a big example. Many women have a really broad pelvis. Mm -hmm. And if they have a broad pelvis, it, one of the things they can have is femoral uh, coxivera. So the, the angle of the, of the femur is more 90 degrees than 120 mm -hmm. degrees. Mm -hmm. If you have a wide pelvis and you sleep on your side, you're putting your back into a side bed. Okay. <laughs> if you go to roll over, your upper body gets there a half an hour before your lower body. That, that, that kind of pelvis also contributes to the TFL getting stiff. It doesn't get stretched. So when you walk, you get excessive lumbopelvic rotation. Now you've set up in all those ways for the lumbar spine to do more rotation than it should. So everything you do, it's going to be easier for it to move there than in the other places where they move. So what is your structure? What is your activity? And how does that play out in, uh, in your movement? So that start off with the micro instability. It becomes ma macro. And then you have a physiological motion problem and you've got a pain problem.